All right, hey everybody. So we wanna talk about something that happens all the time, included bark. Here's what you're looking for. I just happen to have an ornamental Japanese maple right here with plenty of instances of included bark and a chance to see some of the potential problems that are gonna fail the tree later. But if you come around this way, uh, you can see how these are really acute angles. When you get included bark, you're gonna notice a definitive line usually. You see this line that goes all the way down to here. Uh, that represents the fact that there's a structural problem in here and you're gonna see it. Here's another one right here with that line. The bark, instead of growing in together and up like it should, whenever there's a joint, it should grow in and up. You get the in and down and it produces that definitive line. Then if you come around this way again, you can see right here, that line has now expressed itself as a crack because this has got way too big to support the, the weight it, that it has to support is too much for it. And then there's an ice storm that kind of accelerated that, but you can see that cracking all the way down. This is something you can say to your customer. If you look at where this is pointed, it was over the house and definitely over where they park because they like to park out in their driveway. So that was definitely gonna fall on them at some point. And then here you can see again on the back side, the crack is expressed even more. And if you come around this way, you'll be able to see this crack is really deep and goes all the way down to the tree. And then here again, we have more included bark that's also expressing itself. This crack probably won't break off, especially once we remove the weight from this side but that's definitely a stress fracture and that means that all of this is weakly attached and it's not really something that a person should keep but at the same time to reduce the cost trimming would be the the first main option is get it trimmed so that way it reduces some of the weight and you're less likely to have an issue in the future but you still could have a failure of this whole side on a car or something like that and we don't want that so next time we see it so that way you guys get eyes on it and helps you look for it especially when you're in bigger trees when you're climbing you got to be looking for these kinds of joints because you don't want to be out on a branch to have it break with you in it so keep a lookout for this stuff and check it out. here we have another example of included bark in a co-dominant tree where the tree has failed not once but twice and both times caused damage to the nearby houses Storms are coming, Ma! Check this out. We got some crazy stuff going on. Whack the chimney, but everything in this tree is really just like couldn't have happened in a better way. So we've got a good 60 foot tree comes across, broke out up here, took out all the power lines with it. The house dropped to this house, which has already been replaced, and the whole top of this other fir tree then it took out an entire maple with it so that's pretty crazy okay, this go, this might drop. So oh it's, yeah it's holding a lot of tension on it, so. yeah it's it probably won't drop too far i'm just letting you know in case it comes i'm to glad i'm way. glad you're saying so thank you sir for telling me no problem, no problem. But see these trees like this this is the thing you see this tag someone decided that they were going to mark this tree and say, this tree should never be cut down. It's an amazing tree, it's a special pine. But this thing is junk. It's like already broken half, crushed over the top of this shed. And that was the split you can see that's old right there. So it was a co-dominant uh, pine tree. This side already broke out. And now this side's broken out and completely just trashed their yard. Thankfully not their whole house, just whacked the gutters and hurt the roof a little bit. But uh, it's time to get on it. I am a child beloved. What you have given has always been enough. Why am I clutching and grabbing at all the things that I don't have when you have given me everything? Why am I stuck in my feelings thinking I know what I deserve when the answer is clear to me? What you give me, Lord, is more than I desire. You're my provider. And when I lose my way, you lead me through the fire. You're my 